ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today, where we've got a lot to go over, including a major warning about Vanguard Zombies if you're going to be hopping into it anytime soon that you need to know about. That's probably the best way to start the show today, so without further ado, let's kick things right off with our first story. Now that Vanguard and Vanguard Zombies has had its global release, it's out everywhere in the world, Treyarch did something to the Vanguard Zombies mode that they said they would do, but it's now catching a lot of Zombies players off guard, where Treyarch has shifted all Zombies matches in Vanguard to run on dedicated servers. Now that might be a good thing when you're playing with your friends, but if you're playing solo, you really don't need dedicated servers. But on this game, it forces you to play on dedicated servers even if you're in a solo match. Now this has resulted in two different things. The first thing that a lot of Zombies players have originally noticed and are not very happy about is that there is zero ability to pause your game in Vanguard Zombies. Whether you're playing with friends or solo, you can't pause your match. Treyarch did state that this feature will eventually be coming along with the other Zombies updates in Season 1 around a month away. The other big thing with all Zombies matches running on dedicated servers is that Treyarch has implemented a timed out command into the game. This means that if the game deems you're inactive, you don't move your controller, you don't move anything in the game, for three minutes, it will automatically kick you from your Zombies match, even if you're playing a solo game. So if you're ever playing Zombies, you're getting pretty high up in your rounds, want to continue your progress, before you leave your controller or keyboard, make sure you set a timer for three minutes. Because once the game detects that you're inactive, right at that three minute mark, it'll automatically time you out and kick you from the game. Treyarch forcing Zombies players to make those bathroom and drink runs quick, eh? But one thing that we should know by now from the Zombies community is that if Treyarch or any other Zombies developer puts a limitation on where you can go and what you can do, the Zombies community will find a way to get around it. And in this case, the only way that High Rounds players are able to get past this automatic kick is by using the classic rubber band on controller technique as demonstrated by an amazing Zombies player in Insomnia, who's showing off exactly how to do this in your own game on round 110. So yeah, I guess if you're playing Vanguard Zombies on a controller, just be sure to keep a rubber band handy if you think you're gonna be gone for more than three minutes. I cannot believe this is still a problem in the year 2021. But sticking with Insomnia Virus for a second, moving on to our second story of the day, where he was able to complete what we believe to be the first round 100 flawless run here in Vanguard Zombies, but the interesting thing here is that when you reach round 100, this happens to the round counter in the top right, where for whatever reason the rounds glitch out and instead of displaying you're on round 100, it misses the second digit of that number for whatever reason, instead displaying that you're just on round 10. Although that being round 10 with large spaces in between the numbers. Just a very weird problem that occurs for some reason and actually fixes itself once he reaches round 110, it now displays properly. Another thing to note from his high round run is that the max points you're able to get here in Vanguard Zombies is one short of 1,999,999. And don't spend them all in one place. I'll leave a link to his full high round run so you can check it out after this video to see what strategy he's using, where it seems like in this game, as it was in Cold War when it launches, that the shotties are king and that they will define the meta here in Vanguard Zombies. But moving on to our third story of the day, Easter eggs are a major part of pretty much every single Call of Duty Zombies game, but for whatever reason, they seem to be entirely missing in their traditional forms here in COD Vanguard. Obviously no main Easter eggs in the game yet, no side Easter eggs have been found, but there has been lore or intel easter eggs that have been found across Daran Fang's various maps. There is a lot of them to find and listen to, as demonstrated by fellow Zombies YouTuber TGR, who, who compiled all of the audio easter eggs that are currently found within the game into one video. Unlike in Cold War, you can't collect intel and listen to them in the main menu. You've got to listen to them like in Classic Zombs while in a match, which can make it pretty difficult to get recorded 
recordings of these things sometimes, so big up to TGR for putting this together. You'd think that Treyarch would have at least like one or two side Easter eggs in this mode at launch, but with how bare bones everything else is, perhaps not. That doesn't mean to don't stop looking for hidden things in your own game, but it doesn't look extremely positive that anything interesting will be found. Next up, some players hopping into Vanguard Zombies, and specifically the hub world on that map, have noticed that for whatever reason, nothing is spawning in for them. And that instead, there appears to be a lot of flashing effects on their screen. I'll show you what it looks like so you know to restart if it happens to you, but I'll make it smaller than normal, and especially if you have something like epilepsy, probably don't watch this and be very aware if this happens in your own game where unit over on Twitter shows off what this looks like nothing is spawned in only like some of the base elements of the outer walls of Red Star all the elements of the map and even the other players are invisible to him as well this issue it also seems like this issue doesn't get fixed when you teleport as he shows off during the blitz objective in the speed cola room that this issue persists there is some belief out there that this issue could in part because because of a slow internet connection charlie intel tweeting out if you're experiencing a lot of packet bursts while playing try turning off on demand texture streaming this is using your internet connection to download assets as you're playing it helps cut down on the overall file size of the game but obviously if you have a slow internet connection it, it could cause some connection issues both in zombies and of course in multiplayer as well but now that vanguard has in fact had its worldwide release for all of you guys that are getting your hands on the game and trying it for the first time, obviously it seems like the universal consensus is that at its core, this is a very disappointing launch for the Vanguard Zombies mode, but a lot of the feedback I've been seeing around the Zombies community is that there are good elements to this game mode. The operators in this game are far more interesting and have way more dialogue in them than they did in Cold War, to the point where I actually want to try out different operators in this game just to hear their their voice lines compared to Cold War where that really didn't matter as much. The weapons and weapons variety do feel pretty good in this game as well, but like I said earlier, once again, shoddies are king. It just makes me really wish that they hopefully eventually do release some kind of survival game mode, whether that be in a regular round-based zombies map form that we've grown to know and love, or in some kind of modified traditional survival form that they've been talking about. It would be nice to have an entire game mode that's just based on taking down zombies like normal instead of having to always worry about completing an objective. I'd love to know what you guys think as well down in the comments, but that does wrap up this show today, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, hey, consider leaving a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you with another Zombies News video tomorrow. Peace.